In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer a company's share price using GoalSeek in Excel. So let's take the Gordon Growth Model. It's a form of dividends-based valuation in which we estimate a company's share price based on its forecasted dividends. So in short, we take the forecasted dividends per share and divide it by the difference between a company's cost of equity, which we can calculate using the capital asset pricing model, and the expected growth rate of the dividends. For example, if we expect the dividends to grow at 2% every year forever, the growth rate would be 2%. And so we're expressing the intrinsic value or share price of that company as basically the present value of all the dividends that a shareholder would ever be expected to receive. Now, here's the thing. Here's how we can reverse engineer the share price. If we know what the existing share price is, and we know the forecasted dividends per share for the company, and we know the company's cost of equity, we can back out what the growth rate must be, what the market was, must be assuming about the growth rate of those dividends, based on all the other things that we know, okay? So I've got some data here. So this is, I was thinking about the company Procter & Gamble. Let's say that the forecasted dividends for the next year are 18 billion. So this amount is in millions. So even though it says 18,000, I'm saying 18 billion. And I'm assuming, let's just say 9 billion of dividends paid to common shareholders, 9 billion of uh, repurchases of common stock. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, re common share repurchases are usually included as distributions to common shareholders when doing dividends-based valuation. Don't worry about the details. I've got other videos on that. In any event, let's assume 18 billion of uh, distributions to common shareholders. Now, common shares outstanding, again, in millions, uh, but we've got 2357 here, and that results, if we take this divided by this, dividends per share of $7.64. Now, again, assuming a cost of equity is 7%. Now, we don't know the growth rate. Okay, We know that the share price uh, was $160.35. That's the most recent share price as of when I'm making this video. When you watch the video, the share price might be very different. But as of March 8th, 2024, $160.35 a share. So we know the share price. We know the, well, we believe we know the forecasted dividends per share. We know the cost of equity. And we're going to try and back out what would be the growth rate. So here's how we're going to do this uh, goal seek to, to, to back out the growth rate. So let's assume you're at the home tab. You go up, you click data, and then you go to what if analysis, and you click on goal seek. Now, if you didn't follow all that, I got instructions right here. So don't worry. So now when it says set sell, what you want you to do is uh, sell B8, and then we're going to set that to the share price, 160.35, by changing the cell, and that cell that we're going to change uh, is this cell right here, okay, the growth rate. And I'm going to click OK. Now, before I click OK, what we're basically telling us is we're saying, look, go to this cell right here, B7, the growth rate, and, and change it. Try different growth rates until you get to the one that results in a share price of $160.35. So we see that our G, or growth rate, is 2.24. So again, what is that saying? That's saying, look, assuming dividends per share of $7.64, assuming a cost of equity of 7%, the growth rate, or G, right, in our formula here, the growth rate that would result in a share price of $160.35, which is the share price we're observing as of the most recent uh, time of the, that I'm making this video, uh, uh, is 2.24%. So that the market must be assuming a growth rate of 2.24% of dividends, uh, assuming that, that we get to the share price. Now, I have a formula built in here uh, for the share price, just to click here to show you. Um, so, so that's how I get what, what the share price is and, and so forth. But now, let me show you another example of how we can reverse engineer the share price. So then, then the previous example, I assume we don't know what the market is assuming about the growth rate. But in this example, let's assume we, we do know, we are, we f we're fairly confident that there's an expected growth rate of 2%, that the dividends are going to grow at 2% every year forever, and that the cost of equity, that we know that. And of course, again, we know that the share price we've observed is $160.35. So now we're basically saying, look, given this Gordon growth model that we have, assuming a cost of equity of 7%, growth rate of 2%, and we observe the, the share price $160.35, what must be the dividends per share that the market is expecting for next year for Procter & Gamble that we would arrive at the share price? 
Okay, so what is the expected dividends per share? So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to use Goal Seek. I'm going to use Goal Seek. So again, let's say we're at the Home tab. We would click on Data. Uh, so now I'm going to go up to What If Analysis, and I'm going to click Goal Seek. And where it says Set Sell, we're going to come to B8, so the, the share price. And we're going to say Set It to Value 160.35. And then by changing sell right right here, B3, which is uh, the dividends or distributions to, to common shareholders. So I'm going to click OK. And it results in, so we basically, now it's telling us, look, there must be total dividends and, and share repurchases of $18.897 billion or $8.02 per share of dividends to, res to result in this share price. In other words, if the cost of equity for Procter & Gamble is 7%, and if the growth rate for the dividends is expected to be 2% every year, then it must be that Procter & Gamble is expected to have $8.02 of dividends uh, per common share next year to arrive at this share price. So we have basically backed out. We, we say we observe the share price. We, we know the cost of equity. We're fairly confident about what people are expecting for the growth rate. We can reverse engineer using all these components and say, okay, what must the market be assuming dividends per share will be next year to arrive at this share price?